Come and get me, motherfucker. Welcome back, everybody, to the third generation wrestling podcast, 3GW, here to talk some Halloween ends. The final chapter between Michael Myers and uh, 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 Laurie Strode. So they say. <laughs> Real Biggie and Rob the Ambassador. How you feeling, man? Uh, I know it was a rough week for your Broncos, but how you feel? <laughs> man, every week is a rough week with my Broncos uh, this season. Now they have won two games. They're two and four. But Monday night was, man, it was it was rough, okay? And I'm not going to take too much time on this because, first of all, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Second of all, it just ain't worth anybody's time. But uh, the Broncos have been struggling. Russell Wilson, who we gave yeah. a quarter of a billion dollars to, been struggling. But first quarter, this game started off great. Yeah. Russell Wilson, 10 for 10, man, over 100 yards, man, passing. We're like, yeah, this is the Russ we've been waiting to see. Mm-hmm. Shit. Shortly after that, the wheels came off. The whole second half, they scored six points, lost in overtime, 19 to 16, man. Couldn't get anything going, broke all the hearts of Bronco fans again. And, man, I just don't know what to think about this whole situation with the Broncos' new coaching. Russell Wilson, we gave all this money to. Did we waste our money? It's it's bad, and uh, and I'm just I'm just man, just just tired of it, man. Just sick of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got a right to be. Oh, my Bears ain't doing much better, so don't feel bad. <sighs> but look, we both we still represent them, though, right? I mean, we are fans. Because man, you know, through, through both of our teams are some losing ass teams, but but we're representing anyway. So we're real fans. Yeah, thick and thin. It's been a lot of thin lately. <laughs> All right. So this movie came out last Friday. I'm assuming you watched on Peacock just like I did. Yep. Um. Neither one of us liked the last one. Had kind of similar complaints. Mm-hmm. No, very little. Lori Strode. She was in the hospital bed the whole time. The whole evil dies tonight felt real Trumpish rallyish type stuff, you know. Uh characters introduced I didn't care about. I thought the acting was terrible in that movie too. Um the the one thing that that movie did have though was a lot of action, a lot of good kills, but I was like that <laughs> I kind of got my answer in this movie. Is he did he just get juice up or something? Is he, he getting his last gas of energy? Because he was doing superhuman things in the last movie. Somewhat in the first one, but not really. I thought the first one was a really steady pace of action, kills, and story. You're talking about 2018. Yes. Okay. That one felt like it 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 flowed. It gave a, it was balanced, and it was scary. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed one, 2018. Yeah, the last one, now nah, 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 you got kills, you got action, but yeah, my story was missing and lacking. So coming into this one, the finale, Halloween ends. How are they gonna send this these two off? And uh, man. I don't know if Michael used all his energy in that, that last movie because for as much as they advertised him and you can see he's on the poster, he ain't in the movie much. I, I really want to know if somebody clocked how long he's actually in the movie. It can't be more than, like screen time wise, it can't be more than 10 minutes. And the movie is an hour and 50, hour and 40, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Now, it started I thought it started off well um, and and we won't really get too much into spoilers kind of 50-50 spoiler re-talk but not like spoilers so if you're on the fence 
that something might get out and you haven't seen it yet, leave now. Come back later after you watch it. All right. The beginning with the, the guy that was cutting that couple of grass would turn up to be a babysitter watching their boy. I guess it's probably like seven, eight, and seven or eight, I guess. Playing hide and seek, and that way that ended. Uh, I did not see that coming at all because there's not a lot of movies that the outcome with kids goes that way. And the way that it happened, I mean, it was brutal. And I was like, oh shit. And then, you know, if it, 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 you know, runs to the credits, like, you know, like, you know, normally get in a Halloween movie, you get a bunch of kills, and then you get the opening credits. I thought this was great. I love the opening. I, I, it was a good opening, and like you said, it, it was a surprisingly brutal uh, what happened, but at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, okay, how is this all going to, you know, we're supposed to see Michael versus Lori. How is the, these characters, who are they, and how do they fit into this whole thing? That's what I was thinking. Well, yeah, uh, but I just, I took away from, like, okay, then maybe they're setting something up. And 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 this is how we get there. Um, then we get Lord. I, I wasn't. I guess I didn't watch but like one trailer when they first announced it, and that was it. I don't really watch trailers multiple times anymore. We got Lori Strode and her and her granddaughter, and they're kind of living the life, and she's gotten her hair done, and she's dressing normal now, and. Yeah, we should probably mention, I believe the movie jumped four years ahead after the events of uh, yeah. Kills, Halloween Kills. Which threw me for a loop because I thought this was all kind of kind of going to be on the same, well, you know, not same night, but same month, week, you know, something like that. So it jumped four years ahead. And yeah, there's a lot to unpack with that. So. But yeah, so four years passed. They live together now, and they still live in Haddonfield. Why? Why? Wait, wait. <laughs> four years. You would think, okay, I hadn't had enough of this cold and kills and all that. Let's go to Miami. Let them deal with Michael. We don't need to do this shit. He, he ain't gonna walk. He ain't gonna walk to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> so the, that that was one of my issues. I'm like, why y'all still live there? And on top of that, nobody in town likes you. So why would you stay? Uh, to be to be ridiculed and looked at funny and all that stuff, you know. Especially Lori, more so Lori. Um, and then there was that one scene that that uh, I guess the daughter of the black lady in Kills stopped yeah. her outside the grocery store. I thought that lady died, but I did too. She was sitting there with a. a tubular light in her neck I, I thought that was it yeah and and you know they show her in this one they talk about well she can't speak anymore and you got those big scars on her neck and it's like okay and so to see how the town reacts to you why would you stay there the only person that likes you is 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 the old cop and and will Patton. i can't think of his character's name uh i think it was sheriff hawkins okay yeah um So, I guess getting to the the best way that I guess to do this review is positive and negative, right? So positives for me, I like the kills in the movie because some of them are pretty damn brutal. The one that really got me, and normally I don't like seeing this in horror movies, but the way they got that brother at that radio station. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of the most brutal kills I've ever seen in a horror movie. Like that was that was like I was like, yeah, yeah. It it was pretty rough. Oddly, well, look, I guess we'll get to it. Oddly enough, some of the best kills weren't weren't done by Michael. No, they were not. Um, That's actually one of my positives because. 
if he was doing all this stuff and he's supposed to be a man, he would be tired. He would be overexerted. He's been in exile for four years. He don't have no energy. And I did. I do think they were kind of showing that he has to kill to kind of get some of that strength back. And I think he was starting to, but it was so inconsistent. Not to jump to a negative, but that's one of them. Like, it's inconsistent storytelling. Is he a man or is he a shape? Which is it? Um, so, the kills. Um, I You might you probably have a different opinion, but I was kind of thinking they were going with kind of transferring the energy and the powers of Michael to the new guy. And we were going to get a new slasher killer. And it won't be Michael anymore. It'll be somebody else. And I thought that's where they were going with it. They even dropped the ball on that. Um, but I like that. And let's see. I like the stepfather. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he, Because he was really trying to be cool with him. He was like, he gave him a job. And he was like, you, you still late again to work. He's like, hey, man, come get this bike. Get him. Get him his motorcycle for you so you can get to work on time. Um, I, I really liked him, and he stood up for him. And even when his mom, that, oh my God, that mom, I, she was, yeah, that was kind of, that whole thing was kind of weird. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, that's, that's kind of the end of my positives, and I'll let you take it away. All right, man. Well, unlike you, I don't have hardly any positives at all. I hated this movie. I thought it was complete Ooh. garbage, a complete waste of time. I'm disappointed. All right. 40, over 40 years invested in this franchise. I have every Halloween movie ever made, even the Rob Zombies. That's how big of a fan I am. Now, I'm going to have a hard time adding this one to my collection. You're calling it Halloween Ends. Obviously, what we want to see, and, and I mean, eventually we do get it, is the battle between Laurie and Michael. But this whole swerve you did, first of all, you know, You've built up Michael all these years to be evil personified. He's not a man. Dr. Loomis said it. He's not a man. He's just all I looked into his eyes. All I could see was, was just evil. He's just mm -hmm. evil personified. Now you got Michael as some homeless dude living under a bridge, barely can walk, can't kill nobody no more. So he needs this geeky little dude named Corey to do all the killing for him. Mm -hmm. What? What are, what are we doing here? Yeah. Why? You know, what they should have done is made 2018. And then Halloween Kills, when they had everybody trying to kill Michael, they should have just ended it there because the way this movie ended with the whole town there to see the final, yeah, Michael's final Which reckoning. I hated. That, yeah, that all could have happened in Kills and that would have been better instead of dragging this thing out because they started off so great in 2018. And then Halloween Kills, to me, a big drop off. Although I did watch it uh, leading into this one. I didn't hate it as much as I did originally, even though I still did hate it. This one, though, was far worse. Far, mm. You know what? The only reason I didn't stop it and turn it off is because I knew we had to review it. It was, man, I'm telling you. Look, were the kills good? Yeah, okay, fine. I, I can see bloody murders in, in any horror movie. With Halloween, I, I'm... I'm also involved in the story. I don't just watch that. I haven't invested 40 years in this series just to see kills. I'm interested in the story. I'm seeing it finally resolved after all this time. And and this whole thing of, of this other dude being Michael's, I don't even know what you call it. His apprentice. Or his apprentice. And then uh, Lori's granddaughter uh, having fallen in love with dude. And, and I mean, he's obviously a weirdo, but but you like this dude? I mean, it's hard for me to believe <laughs> that the same guys who wrote and directed 2018 did these other two. They 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 it, they look like three completely different movies. 2018 to me ranks up there with one of the best Halloween movies in the series. Mm -hmm. The last two rank as two of the worst. Yeah. And look, Jamie Lee Curtis deserved better than this. You know, man, she's been very gracious returning for all of these movies. She yeah. doesn't really have to, even though, but but she does it because she realizes this was her springboard to stardom. Mm. So she's, she's come back and played in H2O, uh, Resurrection briefly, 2018, Kills, Ends, and, and this is what you send her off with. She deserved better than that. Halloween fans deserve better than that. This movie is a complete, complete waste, and 
one of the hugest disappointments I've seen in a long time. Well, <laughs> let's get to let's get to it. The, the negative. Um, you already kind of talked about it. I get it. There's 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 something to be said about something when you have something unique in common with somebody, and that's how y'all bond over. You know, she's the she's related to the weird grandma and that's her grandma and you know he's kind of blackballing in town because of what he did um i don't think that's enough though to have the type of attraction that they tried to put on in this movie like they were just in love and love at first sight and if you really and again another inconsistency if that was the case she should have been uh, uh, okay, messed with the guy that was trying to date her in high school, not the boyfriend, but the weirdo guy, right? So, I mean, I don't know. Um, that I had a problem with. Um, and then I guess when Halloween Kills ended, we knew that Michael had killed Lori's daughter, right. I thought they just should have continued right there, right with there Lori, and finding out going. that, yeah, right that her daughter had been killed. And then she's, she's out of the hospital. Like, okay, now I have to get him. This is it. They could have just continued on with that story. Cause obviously all these movies, Michael comes back on Halloween day. Right. So you, so they jumped four years, Lori's writing books and stuff and, and trying to deal with everything still leaving Haddonfield though. Um, but uh it, there, there's just look. I think you or I could have written a better story arc with these three movies than than what they did. Started off so great with eighteen. The idea in Kills. Look, I liked. Here's what I liked about Kills after watching it again is that the nostalgia. Okay, you had so many of the characters from some of them from the original Halloween in the movie. Mm -hmm. It was just nice to see them. Was the plot very good? No. The whole evil dies tonight thing. I mean, you could see how that kind of thing could happen because this town has been terrorized by this man for so long so you could have i i thought for sure halloween ends was just going to pick up where that whole storyline left off and have laurie just track down michael and we would finally just see the final battle between these two all this stuff about about michael being homeless and broke down and old and and this other guy doing all of them <sighs> terrible yeah to me though and some people may agree, some people may disagree. The absolute worst part about this movie was those damn bullies. Uh, not convincing at all. And that's my problem when you hire young actors to portray uh, certain types. That dude was bigger than all three of them. He could kick all their ass and he was all timid. And I just didn't get it. You need to cast better. Um... That at that that, that really, every time they got on screen, it annoyed the hell out of me. Like that, I, I they were trying to like take from Stephen King and how he always has a bully in his in his movies, mm -hmm. but they they did it right in it. They didn't do it right here. Let's put it that way. Um, and like you said, I think and that's something I didn't even think about. The way this movie ends with the whole town all of a sudden in minutes gathering together. And we 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 got him, we we got the body, and now we, now after like he's with forty years, we gonna throw his ass in the machine. Now we're gonna <laughs> throw him in the machine. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. And I'm like, I'm sitting there watching. I'm like, that's it. Y'all could have done this thirty fucking years ago, <laughs> and and lived your lives. <laughs> that part didn't bother me as much because obviously you can't just kill Michael and you can't just shoot him and say, okay, that's it. We've seen the dude take multiple shots and come back. You had to kill him in a way that would convince us, the viewing audience that, okay, this is really it. This Michael can't come back from this. This is it. So from yeah. that standpoint, I kind of see why they went that route. Cause it's like that thing. I don't know if you ever saw Jason X. But they talk know. about how many ways they tried to kill him. Uh, we we hung him. We we shot him. We we did all these things. Like you ain't that thing about cutting him up and putting his body parts in different parts of the world. Like I don't know. 
That's the first thing I would have said. Cut his ass up and be done with it. You know, when I first saw the scene in that uh, junkyard or whatever it was, and I saw that machine, I'm like, that machine's going to play some sort of part in the movie. I actually uh, thought the bullies you were talking about, when they when uh, they followed Corey there, I actually thought they were going to go in, and I wasn't oh, thinking that okay. would be Michael. There is always foreshadowing in these movies. You just sometimes you catch, sometimes it's 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 heavy handed. And you go, well, that's gonna come back later. But I didn't catch it. I didn't know. I didn't catch that the first time. But that is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, man, this is a uh, yeah. Well, I mean, no, I did not enjoy this as much as 2018. But I, I'll say I got into it more than Halloween Kills. Ooh. I do think they're on the same level though, as far as inconsistent not good with the story kills probably had better kills more kills he had michael myers seemed invincible in that movie so at least i, I could go along with that he this seemed like was, michael yeah all right he didn't seem like old broke down homeless <laughs> michael. i mean well come on right yeah, no, this, this is my question what happened like he was invincible last movie this movie he's well you you talked about the shadows and shit <laughs> You talked about inconsistent storytelling. At the end of Kills, everybody thinks they've killed Michael. They're all gathered around him like, yeah, we got your ass. But Michael gets up and slaughters all of them. All of them. But then all of a sudden, four years later, he's he's living under a bridge, homeless. Dude can barely walk. Yeah. Uh, he was in No in explanation basement. as to why. No. Uh, oh, yeah. Four years went by and can't nobody find this motherfucker stop all right uh first movie he was locked in a basement with a fire got out of that just fine yeah picking up firemen fully suited firemen chainsaws cutting motherfuckers up and nothing this movie he can't barely he said barely walk <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. no nah, man this movie was not it I i'm so extremely disappointed and uh, um glad i didn't pay to go see it in the theater i hate that i wasted eyesight on it but i, I had you know man I, like i said i've invested this much in the series i was going to see it through to the end uh, you know i'm gonna i'm gonna buy i'm look man i'm a completist so i'm gonna buy the damn movie but i'm waiting until it is cheap i'm not worried about blu-ray i'm going with dvd whatever's cheapest and i'm waiting before i buy it probably will never watch it but i just want to have the complete series right um terrible the trailer lied too, because there was a line in the trailer that intrigued me that I was hoping to see in the movie. So maybe, maybe the only way he can die is if I die too. That line ain't nowhere in the movie. Yeah, yeah, they they had us believing that. Oh wow, Lori, are, I are thought they she both going to die? Know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they do hint at it, and they see they tricked us. Had that whole scene with her in the bedroom with mm -hmm. the gun, and then. So you just knew he was in the house and then stop. Okay. You know, man, obviously they filmed the scene. I'm wondering if maybe look Got when cut. the DVD, the Blu-ray comes out, alternative endings, we'll probably see a couple of those, maybe one where Lori dies. Um, but yeah, that was a tease that was not in the movie. Yeah. I don't know. All right. I, I kind of know already, but what do you, what, what would you grade it? Oh shit, man. I wish I had some, but I don't. I don't have any fireball, but this is an F. Fucking oh minus. man, this this is one of the worst in the series. I watched the Rob Zombies before I watched this one. This one, it, it was terrible. <laughs> hey man, this made Halloween Kills look like The Godfather. Okay, Halloween Kills. Hey, I apologize because I didn't think it could get worse than that. Shit, I was wrong. Yeah, I had to apologize to. I apologize to Ram Zombie early oh, yesterday. Because <laughs> I, I watched another movie. I was like, yeah, damn. <laughs> this is bad. Man. But I I have to... Well, I'm not going to give it an F. Believe it or not. I'm not going to okay. give it an F. But okay. I am going to give it a D. Yeah. Uh, because... Too it kind. Not... Way too kind. Way too kind. <laughs> Biggie, it's a D because it did not deliver. 
um, on on things we were promised. I did find some enjoyment in it, though. It would be if I could get any enjoyment out of it. Uh, the way it opened was really, I thought, was really great. Open my eyes, but there's a lot of inconsistencies, bad story, and the way it ended was very, very. It left a lot to be desired. I mean, shit. That's how we send this off. I was just like, I'm waiting for something else. I'm, that's it. And that's why, like we said, she just kept it going. Yes, we know. He only comes out on Halloween for the majority of the movies, but damn it, it's a Halloween series. It ain't got to be October 31st. This shit started on October 31st. It could end whenever. Keep yeah. it going. Lori just found that her daughter died. Now she's enraged and she's gonna go nuts. That's a better story. You can go, you can do more with that. That's exactly where I thought they were going. Obviously, when when her daughter died, I'm thinking, oh man, when Lori finds that shit out, she's gonna go crazy. Yeah, they just Michael's in for it. I'm like, oh, I, I'm ready. Mm, they shit. mentioned it in passing. Yeah. Give you a flashback. You know, that's it. That's all they give you. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, bad, bad, let us know in the comment section down movie. below what you all think of this Halloween ends. Yeah, yeah, just just you know, type your grade A, B, C, D, F, A minus B. Yeah, just, just type your grade. Let us know because maybe I'm wrong, but I, I'd be curious to know what you all think. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, we we like hearing different opinions. Yeah, we do. And um, we're very curious to know. Hit us up on social medias. Third Generation Wrestling Podcast on Instagram. Twitter is podcast underscore third. TikTok, Third Generation Wrestling Pod. Email us at thirdgenwrestling.gmail.com. And uh, we appreciate you all for watching or listening, however you choose to enjoy your 3GW. We appreciate you. Ambassador, take it away. Well, Biggie, you said it. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. We want to hear from you. You know, just hit us up. We're trying to get more content out, especially Biggie. We got a lot of movie reviews, so if you're movie fans, you know, check out some of those reviews. Maybe before you go see them, like maybe in this case, you, you listen to this one before you watch it or go see it. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah, take care of one another. We love y'all. Definitely what he just said about Jeepers Creepers, the new one. Man, I could just tell, I haven't watched the video. I could just tell by your face <laughs> that, uh oh, he didn't like that one. Because I know you love the first one. I love the first one. I love the first one. I like the second. Okay. I have the first the, two. The third one, I, I, I didn't really enjoy. That shit. <laughs> watch the review. That's all I can say. Oh, I, I am. I am. Yeah, I'm going to watch that instead Don't of watching Don't ever in your fucking life watch that movie. <laughs> and that's what we're trying to tell y'all we're here to help <laughs> Hit him. all right now you sit there for 90 minutes and watch that shit you will warn yeah. that's all i can say hit that like button subscribe and share and take care peace